Here comes exercise 1.2. The number one question tells me that express each number as product of its prime factors. It means that we have to do prime factorization for these numbers. So is there any doubt in prime factorization? Cannot you do any prime factorization of these numbers? Please you can do and we have learned how to do prime factorization in the prerequisite side the first exercise uh, first video of this chapter so i want uh, you to do the prime factorization only the next the number two question is find the lcm and hcf of the following pair of integers and verify whether you are having lcm times hcf is equal to product of these two numbers so let us uh, do this now i want to take a question 5 10 and 92 we'll find hcf and lcm by using uh, prime factorization and we'll check whether the hcf times lcm is correct or not okay let's do 5 10 92 5 10 and 92 we got it 5 10 and 92 510 this is second bit second question and 92 what is the question finding hcf and lcm verify whether hcf times lcm is equal to product of the two numbers let us do now what we do we'll do it with the help of prime factorization we want prime factorization method to work now i am taking two uh, times two four the five one five then i want to take five uh, five one then i want to take three uh, 3 times 1 is 3, 27. We left out here. Now, LCM 510 can be written. L 17 is prime number. That is why we are stopping there. 2 times, arranging in the increasing order. 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. 92. Now, I want to do prime factors with the help of 2. 4 times 8, 1 to 6. Then again, 2, 93. We stopped here. 92 is equal to. 2 square times 23 now what is hcf hcf is the common and least power we got a common with the least power so and uh, we don't have any more commons that's all the hcf is only 2 now what we want now lcm all the prime numbers we have to write 5 17 and 23 uh, with highest power so 2 is here 2 is here 2 uh, highest power is 2 square 3 is here 5 is not there uh, in, a, in a single one so whatever we are having we are writing all the prime numbers with highest powers now you need to multiply to get the answer so multiplication 2 square 4 times 3 12 times 5 60 times 17 times 23 exactly you multiply get 2 3 4 6 0 so we got a lcm this much and hcf this much uh, let us uh, do now hcf times lcm in two scenarios two cases we do it one directly we are taking the answer to hcf and directly the lcm answer two three four six zero when we multiply this two we get the answer we get the answer four six nine two zero okay when we get this answer hcf times lcm with this much let us keep this answer in this way now directly we find the product of two numbers now product of okay two numbers what were the two numbers we started from it is 510 and 92 510 times 92 when we multiply what we get the answer you can cross check it you'll get exactly 46920 okay from 1 and 2 we can tell from equation 1 and 2 hcf times lcm of the two numbers is equal to product of two numbers
full text you have an LCM were found. In this way, uh, this is a one scenario. So let us verify in another case, uh, how shall we verify with the help of prime factorization type. Uh, we got uh, HCF uh, times LCM is HCF is 2 LCM. We don't want to write complete answer. We will write just the uh, prime factorization of the 2 squared 3 times 5 2. Uh, uh, this is the my HCF. I'm writing now LCM now. This is 2 squared times 3 times 5 times 17 times 23. If you cross check the prime factorization of LCM, 2 squared 3, 5, uh, 17, 23. Okay, now what we do just we arrange these all numbers in such a way we make it the product of the two prime numbers. So, what is the case? Uh, let us see how to arrange them. We should get a 510 and uh, 92 510 and 92 let us do it now that is 2 and these are all numbers they want to keep one side 2 times 3 times 5 times 17 and times this is 2 square it is 4 times 23 if exactly you see this is 92 and if you multiply this you will get a 510 from this we can tell that is equal to product of two numbers which numbers whose hcf and lcm we found so now we verified this we found hcf and lcm by prime factorization and we verified whether hcf times lcm is equal to product of two numbers also let us proceed with an another question so second bit over now i want to do the third bit so in the third we got three numbers and here three numbers uh, given he want us to find hcf and the lcm can we find hcf and lcm of the three numbers exactly we can find hcf and lcm of three numbers with prime factorization method but here you keenly keenly note down the hcf times lcm is not equal to a product of three numbers because fundamental theorem have told us that hcf times lcm is equal to product of two numbers only we have we will never get a product of three numbers so let us uh, find the hcf and lcm of uh, these three numbers 12 15 and 21 let's proceed 12 15 21 third bit 12 15 21 so i got a 12 here i got a 15 here i want a 21 i shall do a prime factorization of this because it is mentioned that we have to find hcf and lcm the help of prime factorization only so now prime factorization starts here we got a prime factorization of 12 as 2 squared times 3. Now I want a prime factorization of this one. 15 is 3 times 5. And 21 prime factorization is 3 times 7. 21 is 3 times 7. Now can you tell me uh, that uh, HCF is all the common prime numbers with least powers so what we got a two we got a two no just we got a three in all the three common so we write the three still any prime number is common all the three no so only hcf will be in three lcm what are the prime numbers we got in all the prime factorizations so we got a two we got a three we got a five we got a seven and uh, what is the highest power of two in all the cases it is two square what is the highest power of three in all the cases only three what is the highest power of five and seven so lcm will be like this two square four times three uh, 12 times five sixty times seven it will be four hundred and twenty so we got hcf and we got lcm from the prime factorization method and if you want to check you check hcf times lcm is not equal to product of the three numbers it is not valid for three numbers the fundamental theorem is valid only for two numbers let us proceed with any other question what does my exercise tells us so fourth question given that hcf of these two numbers is nine lcm of these two numbers is uh, 
don't know so we have been given two numbers we have been given hcf let us find the lcm so if hcf is given two numbers are given uh, lcm is to be found we will not find with the help of prime factorization nor by our uh, any method just we will use our fundamental theorem which we have learned verified so let us proceed to uh, question number four three not six fifty seven uh, in the question okay uh, in the question itself it is mentioned that we got a two numbers what are given two numbers or uh, 300 uh, we got a HCF of this two number as nine what are the two numbers uh, exactly I'm sorry 306 657 306 and 657 HCF and we will want to find the LCM how much so now uh, we got a theorem fundamental theorem HCF times LCM is equal to product of two numbers so HCF is 306 LCM is 657 and the product of the two numbers I am sorry I have written just wrongly one minute sorry I am sorry um, HCF is 9 LCM we don't know and product of the two numbers is 306 times 657 it is like product of two numbers these are two numbers product and this is HCF HCF is 9 LCM we don't know we want LCM LCM is equal to 306 times 657 divided by 9 so LCM now what we must do what we must do we must uh, cancel this 9 we need not multiply the numerators but cancel 9 cancel can be cancelled here also 9 can be cancelled with this because HCF is a common factor factor means it will divide both the numbers so we can cancel e any so I want to cancel 306 9 times 1 9 times uh, 3 is 27 I, I am left out with uh, uh, 36 36 Four. So 657 times 34, if you multiply, you get the right answer. So after multiplication, you may check it, the answer will be double two, double three, eight. So in this way, directly we can get uh, from HCF times LCM, you got product of two numbers. Okay, let us proceed to next question. What does it tell us? It tells that check whether 6 power n can end with digit 0. Okay. How to do the problems of this kind? Can fifth question can six power n uh, and with digit zero? What does it means? In the place of six, it can be any number. So how to do the problem? In order to do that, we'll prime factorize this six. So the prime. factorization of 6 uh, okay of uh, 6 power n is you see here 2 times 3 okay so now uh, as the prime factorization is 2 times 3 means 6 prime factorization is unique we have learned in the fundamental theorem the basic one that every composite number will have unique prime factorization so unique prime factorization it means that 6 prime factorization is 2 times 3 only so we got it uh, here as prime uh, factorization is unique yeah, it contains only 2 and 3 okay uh, in order to end with digit 0 it must have 2 and 5 as 2 times 5 is 10 like that if you uh, you get 0 in this scenario only where prime factorization contain 2 and 5 so here 5 is not there only 2 times 3 Therefore, uh, 6 power n can never end with digit 
zero that's all so in this way so many different types of questions can be asked 6 power n can end with digit or 15 power n can end with digit zero otherwise uh, he can change the number also for zero there is a um, technique that the prime factorization must contain 2 and 5 but if uh, instead of zero if it is written 2 or 5 in that scenario we cannot uh, write the prime factorization must contain like this so uh, moreover if it is written uh, can end with digit uh, uh, can end with digit 5 then we must tell the prime factorization should contain 5 and can end with digit uh, some other number then we have to check whether uh, by what what number 6 power n can be ending 6 power 1 is 6 6 power 2 is 36 6 power 3 is 256 again 6 6 6 in the last so it will end with digit 6 only let us move on to problem number 6 of this exercise we are enjoying and completing our exercises very very fast let's move so the sixth question of this one telling that explain this number why these uh, are composite number so let us copy this question i am taking this question to whiteboard directly copy from here okay let us move yep yes okay so we got a question here i'm sorry let us put this question here explain solution uh Think uh, why this uh, he, this is the question why he is asking us that it is a composite number. In order to understand what is a composite number, what prime number you, you should know. What is prime number? The rows number which will have only two factors, and that also one in itself. If any number is having more than two factors, it is a composite number. So here we want to prove it uh, any these numbers as a composite number. It means that we shall prove that they are having more factors so proceed uh, let us prove this number is a composite number now solution for this problem can be started like this 7 times 11 times 13 plus 13 this is a given number okay i want this 13 to be taken common so what will be left out 7 times 11 plus 1 this 13 went outside times this is plus this 13 instead of the 13 1 will come in the place of that one and if i simplify then what i get is 7 times 11 is 77 plus 1 i want this is 78 i want to do this prime factorization and prime factorization for 78 will be 2 times 3 is 6 9 then uh, we got it at 3 and 13 uh, we can write 13 times 2 times 3 times 13 so 2 times 3 times 13 square exactly the prime factorization is here so the prime factorization of prime number will not contain more factors it will be having only itself but here the prime factorization of composite number will be having so many prime numbers in the prime factorization here 2 is a factor 3 is a factor 13 is a factor 39 is a factor 6 is a factor so many factors are there hence these uh, the given the bigger number this collection is a composite number similarly you can try for this one by doing the similar manner okay you try you can take here five common okay uh, like this uh, you can take five common and you can proceed so by taking common whatever the left out in the bracket you simplify it you do prime factorization you write there so many prime factors are there in a prime factorization hence it is having so many factors hence it is a composite number let us pro move to the problem the next problem of your exercise 1.2 so the last one is very interesting let us copy this question to the board okay uh, let us copy this question now okay what does this question tells us okay. there is a circular path around a sports field Sonia takes 80 minutes to drive one round uh, the field and our while Ravi takes uh, nearly 12 minutes for the same suppose they both start at the same point okay you got a circular they are starting from this particular point 
uh, they are moving in this direction uh, as they are moving one gets faster one gets slower because their speed is different Sonia takes 18 minutes to drive one round and while Ravi takes 12 minutes suppose they both start at the same point and go in the same direction after how many minutes will they meet again in the starting point yeah if this is a scenario you see here when they are starting one overall when they are starting and they are having a speed swelling can they meet uh, in lesser than 12 or lesser than 8 lesser will is the solution then the that will be the hcf if the greater will be the solution that will be for the lcm so here this is a hint i am giving to you here lcm will be the solution for this they will meet again the starting point and the lcm so here we find lcm of 12 and 18 so which method will follow because we are in prime factorization techniques so we do it by prime factorization so let us proceed and uh, 2 square times 3 this is a prime factorization then LCM tells me that take all the prime numbers with highest power so I got a 2 prime number we got a 3 prime number highest power of 2 is square and higher power of 3 is again square the LCM is 2 times 4 3 square 9 36 so after 36 minutes they are going to meet again in the starting point in this way we have uh, completed our exercise problems now what is left uh, you should do um, problems on this uh, kind from many 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 books so i hope you understood this this was a very easy exercise we get a one more question not more than uh, one mark from this exercise thank you very much